Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how good Strength Gohan is in the Omega Shenron event. Now honestly, Strength Gohan's great. Pretty much in every single event that he's in. I don't think there's a situation uh, where he isn't a really really top pick. I will say uh, one thing. I do feel like uh, yeah, the taunt, the intercept function, I feel like the fact that that doesn't uh, assist against AoE uh, kind of sucks. Um, not going to lie, not for the mechanic, I think the mechanic's still excellent. Because it is still redirecting every other attack, um, meaning your units only have to deal with AoE. But it is just kind of lame, if you think about it, like, oh, it'll intercept all the attacks, and then it won't, basically. Um, but small things aside, you know, in general, I think you'll find, and this is a, a mix of a 55% and a 100% Gohan, I had to do two runs because I killed the Omega Shin run too fast, but yeah, you know, I think you'll find that Gohan never, ever lets the team down. Um, right now, probably the most solid unit in the game, and definitely what I will say, the amount of key he gives a rotation for certain units is an absolute uh, godsend. For example, I've been running him alongside Ultimate Gohan. Uh, now, Ultimate Gohan is a unit I've always liked a lot, or a lot more than probably what other people have. But Ultimate Gohan alongside Beast Gohan, the combo is really, really fun. Um, and it makes you realize how high you know, Ultimate Gohan's defense can get and how good his offense can be. You know, you can have uh, Beast Gohan doing 21 million crits and followed up with Ultimate Gohan doing 18 million, you know, attack effective against all types, multiple attacks. It's very, very good. So, uh, for me, I think it's a lot of fun. There's also some other units that really benefit from his intercept. Um, you know, units that need you to stall out. You know, the fifth year anniversaries do a lot better because now they're not dealing with the potential of getting hit when they're weakest and they haven't built up after transforming. You know, uh, you have situations like the Blue Boys. You get that evolution um, you know, into Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta a lot easier now. So there's just a ton. Um, there's a ton of really good stuff going on. And I think all of that together makes them look i think the general consensus is that he's the best in the game don't get me wrong um but i think it's a bit more layered than that i think what makes me feel like he's going to last a while um because every unit will eventually be replaced that's how gutches work but with gohan what makes me feel like he'll definitely be top you know, five ten in the game for a while is the integration of his abilities so the fact that he can do the intercept you know the fact that he can enable so many other units to operate in the higher level content by just simply redirecting because a lot of the game is a dps rush now it's about being able to beat your opponent faster than they can beat you so having you know gohan enable your units to avoid damage and thus allowing you to essentially have a free turn you know much like an intercept uh, much like a, uh, a ghost dash or something um i think is really good and i think it really enables a, a lot of units like you see here go on uh, going off doing his thing excellent stuff and now we have ultimate gohan not that easy i mean look this is actually a good stage for ultimate gohan but now you got ultimate gohan doing his thing yeah going off as well and I think that's where uh, really Beast Gohan's main impressive skill uh, can really kind of kick in. So yeah, very impressed with all of them, uh, to be honest with you. And very impressed with Strength Gohan. Uh, I think it's amazing what he does. Yeah, it's a pity it doesn't work against AoE abilities. But uh, yeah, Ultimate Gohan, Strength Gohan, what a combo.